So I get out of jail and I don't think I lasted long at that point. Um, I just didn't understand how to overcome the desire, how to get it to go, you know, because as much as I wanted it, I just, I still had this aching hole inside of me that had to be filled with something. And so, um, I met my son's father. We started dating. We moved in together. We used heroin together. Um, um, it was um, an abusive relationship. Um, not to the extreme, but enough where there was plenty of isolation, plenty of um, mental abuse, and a smattering of, of the physical abuse. Basically, we'd, we'd take anything we could get our hands on, but uh, but it was mostly heroin. And that was when I got addicted. Jobs? Yeah, I was a waitress, and he had a, a pretty decent job. He paid the rent. So you guys weren't committing any like property crime? He was. He, if he didn't have the money he needed or wanted, he, yeah, he would do garage thefts and okay. um, still DVDs and okay. whatever. Doing the drugs every day at that point, um, using needles. And I would have periods where I would get very afraid and I would say, what are we doing? We could die. And I, wa I wanted to get better. And I would talk about how, how are we gonna do this? Do we, can, can we go back to rehab? How can I go back to rehab? How, how do I um, get out of this? Um, and then I found out I was pregnant. And I called my parents and said, can I come home? <laughs> and my parents said no. Um, by that point, they had started educating themselves a little bit through my sister's rehab stays and stuff. They'd done family therapy. and and that had understood that they were enablers and, and wanted to do something about that. Um, so, um, I don't know if it was there. I think it was probably their idea. I asked my grandma, she let me move into her basement. Why was there an ankle monitor? I don't, I didn't have any new charges. Maybe it was just a, a probation violation or something. I was on ankle monitor. So throughout the pregnancy, I was able to stay mostly clean for the majority of it. Um, the ankle monitor helped. It did, yeah. I had decided um, before he was born that I was going to place him for adoption. I just knew at that point I didn't know how to stay clean. I knew that I would want to use drugs again. I, and, I, and I knew that I had nothing to offer this child as much as, I, as much as I schemed and thought and planned and tried to make the pieces fit together to work. I wanted a family. I wanted a family. I wanted the baby. I wanted to be able to have something to offer him. but. The more I talked about it, the more I saw I really didn't have a family for this child. And so I decided to place him for adoption. I knew that if I kept him and somebody took him from me, I wouldn't survive it. So I said, I'm gonna do this on my terms. Um, a family's profile landed in my lap and um, I had a lot of faith that um, my Heavenly Father wouldn't let me choose the wrong family. I just knew that this was very much in his hands and I could feel that he was a part of it. And I trusted that instinct and I thought, well, he's not gonna let me choose wrong. I feel good enough about this family. And I called him up and told him, I want you to have my baby. And um, they were on vacation, turned around, came back. <laughs> and they were there just shortly after he was born. And when I decided to do that, I, I think I kind of just gave up. You know, if I'm not keeping this child, and I know that I don't know how to do this, then, then why try? So within a month of placing him, I was back in jail.